Hey what's up guys welcome to the breakdown today we're going to show you how to install resource packs in Minecraft 1.11 before we get into this video I do want to say that it is brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting if you're looking for a reliable 24-7 Minecraft server check out Apex Minecraft Hosting first link in the description below anyway let's go ahead and jump into this video the first thing you need to do is open up your browser and go to the breakdown.xyz slash RP. This is going to take you to planetminecraft.com and from here you're going to be able to find the resource pack for Minecraft 1.11. So because 1.11 just came out, not a lot of the resource packs are yet updated for 1.11, however they should still work. So in this instance what you need to do is look for one that's 100% complete and it's probably best if it's at least 1.10. However, if you're watching this video the next day or in a couple weeks, 1.11 resource packs should be available. But right now, as they're not, I'm just going to download one for 1.10. It's the same method and it works the same way. Once you click on a resource pack you like, all you need to do is click on download. It's going to redirect you to another page and from there you're going to be able to download the file. So in this case, I'm just going to click on here. It's going to take me to another page and then I can click on download. So once you downloaded it, it's going to put it in your downloads folder and from here you can just drag this onto your desktop. What I recommend doing now is clicking on the folder to make sure it has all of the pack assets such as the assets folder, the pack.png, uh, a readme file if it has it, and the pack.mc meta. Now what you need to do is click on your desktop anywhere that doesn't have a window open to where it says finder up in this window. Then what you need to do is hit shift, command, and G on your keyboard. It's going to bring up this window and paste this code from the description in the go to folder window. Go ahead and click on go and then open your Minecraft folder. And then from here, go to your resource packs folder. Once you're in this folder, all you need to do is drag this file into this folder. If you have iCloud Drive set up, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to move it? That's perfectly fine. And then we can go ahead and go to our Minecraft game to check and see if the resource pack installed correctly. So once your Minecraft game has launched, all you need to do is go to options, click on resource packs, and as you can see right here, it is available as a resource pack. Now because it was made for 1.10, it's going to give me an incompatible error, but it's still going to work. All you have to do is click yes, click done, and then you should be able to load the resource pack into your game. If you download one that's built directly for 1.11, you won't have to worry about that. However, because 1.11 is so new, I did have that small issue. Now we can go ahead and test out the texture pack or resource pack to make sure it works correctly. So as you can see, the resource pack has installed on my game. It actually looks really good. I think I'm actually going to use this as my default uh, resource pack now. Anyway guys, thanks for watching this video. Like I said, it was brought to you by Apex Minecraft Hosting. If you're looking for a 24 hour reliable Minecraft server to play with all of your friends and family, go ahead and check out the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. That'll take you off to Apex Minecraft Hosting, where you can get a server starting for as little as $2 a month to play with all of your friends and family. Thanks for watching this video guys, and I will see you next time.